Uh, we give glory to the Lord for the morning and uh, for his mercies he continues showing unto us uh, we are looking at uh, uh, characters in uh, Christian education uh, the Christian educator have to know the characters and be able to teach the little children the characters that they may have and uh, as we were speaking yesterday that these characters uh, starts at uh, conception uh, there, there, there is nothing like uh, you know the world has perverted everything to do with education and Christian education and uh, today we are going to look at the character in Christian uh, education a uh, calmness we are going to look at calmness uh, and I say that uh, people have perverted the whole idea uh, of uh, education and uh, th there's nothing like uh, an expectant woman when a, a woman gets pregnant, she is a mother. She is an expectant mother. She is not an expectant woman. And so to say that uh, she, she will be a mother when she gives birth, it is actually to make the mother lose uh, the whole idea of uh, motherhood and Christian education. We only have expectant mothers. Although somebody may challenge you, a woman is a female person. But when you say that this person will be a mother when the, they give birth, then it is nine months of wasted of not tackling the issue of education and not starting your duties at the time that you get the child. The, the one which is in your womb is a child. Although it's a fetus, it's a child. Uh, the child it responds to many things when you do them uh, and so many have delayed education for nine full months and uh, when uh, they tried to implement this education that could have been implemented in the womb they found that it is too late and so as um, mothers were expecting okay? yeah they need to start education as early as conception the father has to start education immediately he is informed that the wife is pregnant so that they can start this character practicing them and teaching them to the child as they do them the child responds to them and uh, this is not uh, uh, something that uh, we can uh, 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 argue about because uh, you know when uh, 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 the mother of Samson get pregnant. She stole how to conduct herself when Mary gets pregnancy, and uh, when Elizabeth gets pregnant, they are told what to do. They, they start their education of their children when the children is in the womb. And so, let us look at the Christian. One of the characters in Christian education. Yesterday we looked at thankfulness, and today let us look at uh, calmness. And uh, I'm looking at the book of. Uh, I'm looking at the book of. Uh, Mark chapter 4. Let us be there. Mark chapter 4. I'm giving you the verse immediately. Mark. Mark chapter 4. <clears throat> 
Mark chapter 4. Look at, uh, we are going to look at verse uh, 35 to 41. And uh, And, and, and that's why we have sung the song we sang. Uh, are you there? And uh, let me find it. Yes. Verse um, 35 to verses 36. Uh, verses 35 to verses 41, sorry. On that same day, when evening had came, he said to them, let us go over to the other side of the lake. And remember, we are talking about which character? Calmness. And um, that is verse 35. Verse 36 says, And leaving the throne, they took him with them, just as he was in the boat in which he was sitting, and other boats were with him. Let me turn this into King James. I'm sorry. And when they had sent away, I'm, I'm reading Mark chapter 4 verse 36. And when they had sent away the multitude, they took him, even as he was in the ship. And there were also with him other little ships, verses 37. And there arose what? A great storm of wind. And the waves bet into the ship so that it was now full. Verses 38, and he was in the hinder part of sheep asleep on a pillow, and they awake him and say unto him, Master, carest thou not that we perish? Master, the tempest is raging. And so, 39, and he arose and rebuked the wind and said unto the sea, Peace be still. And the wind ceased, and there was a great calm. And he said unto them, why are you so why are ye so fearful how is it that you have no faith verses 41 and they feared exceedingly and said one to another what manner of man is this that even the wind and the sea obey him that is an interesting part of the passage verses 35 to verses 41 and so let us look at uh, 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 this um, uh, closely that um, the place the setting of the place they were in and the same day when even was come he said unto them let us pass over to the other side and so they were crossing the sea is it is it true yeah. they were crossing the sea uh, I want to make sure you are not sleeping Okay, you are awake. I hope even the people all over the world are awake in some parts that people should be awake. So they were crossing from one point to another and the place they were traveling on or, or, or the means they were using, they were crossing the sea and you know how seas become turbulent sometimes and with the little boat that people have, they can be swept, they capsize. And here there was a storm. So the setting itself, it was an environment that will leave a person so fearful. And when they had sent away the multitude, they took him even uh, as he was in the ship, and there was also with him other little ships, and there arose a great storm, very great storm. In this sea, there arose a great storm of wind, and the waves bit into the ship, so that it was now full and so when a, a christian educator should uh, learn how to teach the child to remain calm amidst every tempest of the storm everywhere when the child is brought into a situation where actually fear and anguish can over uh, whelm him. He is he, he is to be taught how to be calm. Peace be still. He should be told how to become uh, 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 calm. 
and uh, verse 38, and he was in the hinder part of the ship asleep on a pillow, and they awake him and say unto him, Master, care thou not that we perish. Sometimes we are surrounded with stormy seas. We are surrounded with difficulty situation. The best way to handle a situation is not to panic. The best way, and the Christian educator should be able to teach a child that the best way to handle something is not to panic. It is to compose yourself, it is to remain calm. Even when you are brought onto something which is so perplexing, whether the child is dealing with mathematics, whether the child is dealing with geography, whether the child is dealing with whichever subject that seems so difficult, whether the child is compassed or encompassed with the uh, uh, situations which the child don't know how to deal with. The child should be taught that the best thing is not to panic or, tr or rush in doing something, but being calm. You know, uh, there, there have been situations where people panicked or where people feared and the situation wasn't than the situation being helped. Like you find just because of the fear of something, it has led people even in a in death because of the panic people have had high blood pressures they, they have had different diseases and so the best way to tackle a situation is to remind remain calm so that um, you may see how you may have a time to reflect upon what is happening and look at how christ overcame at this point and what he was teaching them and he rose and rebuked the wind and said unto the sea, Peace, be still. And the wind ceased, and there was a great calm. So there is peace. Verse 40, And he said unto them, Why is it that they are not calm? Why is it that they don't have peace at this moment? They don't have faith. And so a, a Christian educator should be able to teach a child that in every situation, to, for you to have that calmness, for you to have that peace of the heart, you must have faith. You must have faith in the Lord. And so you are speaking about calmness and the Christian educator, that uh, what he should teach the child is that in every situation, in every decision he has to make, he has to be calm when surrounded with the difficulty uh, things that the child has to remain calm the child has to depend on god because god knoweth everything and if you remain calm and you depend on god then you will be able to uh to achieve everything you will be able to tell every storm to be a still and it will be at still uh in now uh, Desire of Ages, page 336, we are told that uh, if the disciples had trusted in him, they would have been kept in peace. Their fear in the time of danger revealed their unbelief. So every time we lose the, uh, uh, the serenity, every time we lose our calmness, every time we lose uh, that um, uh, condition of being at peace in storm, it means that um, uh, we, 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 we are revealing unbelief. We are revealing unbelief. If you lose your calmness, if you lose the peace that is in the heart, you are revealing unbelief. In their efforts to save themselves, they forgot Jesus. It was only when in despair of self-dependent, they turned to him that he could give them help and so uh, 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 lack of uh, calmness and lack of faith uh, will reveal unbelief and you will rush do things they will not help you it is that time when we are faced with difficulties that we have to depend on god and so the child must be made to understand that um, he has to rely on god he must remain calm in everything so that he may be able to see the power of God working in his life. And so uh, this is one of the characters the Christian educator has to 
teach a child right from conception until the child is born and the child is getting into maturity to have always uh, calmness in in the life and uh, lack of calmness it shows that um, you don't believe you don't have faith it shows a sign of unbelief so as christian educators as parents uh, i pray that um, uh, this is something that we will exercise in our life and uh, you know you cannot teach the child we, we are looking at the uh, at these characters in christian education and as a christian educator and these traits are things that are passed to the child they are traits that are passed to the child and so if you are not exercising them you will have a theoretical knowledge of truth a theoretical way of teaching the child but a theoretical way of teaching the child will never help the child we are told that a, a child in it is infancy a child in it is childhood uh copies fast what they it is that the, the, the parents do and so if you are a parent who is never calm a parent who is in rush a parent who is in despair a christian educator who is always uh, uh, uh showing unbelief and lack of faith in the lord that is what you are passing to the child and so these are not only the things that should be passed to the child these are things that first of all we should practice them in our life so that as christian educators we must be able to teach to the children the, the best way to teach a, a child is to practice the same thing and so uh, as we are preparing to be christian educators as we are, uh, are desiring to be christian educators the, this syllabus is for us first before it becomes a syllabus to the children we will be handling we should own the syllabus first so that uh, we may come at a time we are fully converted and we are practicing these things that a christian educator has to pass to the children and then after having an experience in them we can be able to pass to the others and paul understood this you find paul in the book of acts practicing the same same thing that christ has practiced here when the ship was in the malta island is it he practiced being calm amidst the storms that were raging and the you know paul was a prisoner and he was going uh say to die and he knew the situation he could have said okay let me perish in this sea let me jump in the sea and die but when the storms were so uh raging he had a time to reflect upon jesus christ and pray and at last even though the the, the ship was bad and the ship was torn they were able to land on the harbor safely so the child should be taught that um, he has to remain calm she has to remain calm amidst the storm and see the victory of god and then they will be able to land on the harbor safely or the child will be able at last to solve the equation uh, 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 at last if uh, it has faith uh, or the child have faith in jesus christ but this the christian educator must be must practice the, the things that uh, uh, he wants or she wants to teach to the child in order that the lesson will not only be theoretical but the lesson will be practical and uh, calmness and patience goes hand in hand because you you cannot be calm and not be patient the two marries each other and we we found out that in christian education when the child is still small the, the or the, the child is still young one of the things that the child learns so well with is nature nature and uh, uh take an example have you gone to the sea or a lake when there is wind what happens with the reed in the midst of the sea when the storms and the, the winds are blowing mm -hmm. yeah? to the lake and seeing the winds and the storms and there's a reed in the middle and the winds are blowing so hard what does the reed do Uh, <laughs> that is that is interesting uh, the reeds 
just bows itself down, just bends. And the wind blows and the wind blows. And at last, when it is over, you see the reed again, it is up. That is a lesson that this, children will learn better with nature. And that's why we are, we are saying that nature should be a lesson book to them so that they may see these things and from seeing what the, even the, the, the plants are doing and what the, the things are happening in the field, they may be able to learn to form such a character. And so what is the reed doing actually? What can it be equated to? The winds are blowing and the storms are there and the reed is bended and the storms are just beating over and it's passing over and the reed is there. It's not broken. Yeah, it is bowed down in prayer. The child should be taught that in these storms, it should bow down in prayer. It should not be rash in doing anything. It should not be quick in doing anything. But the first thing is to believe in God. And the, one of the ways to exercise the faith and have that calmness, uh, uh, it's prayer to bow down in prayer. So that you may tell the Lord of all nature, and you may tell the Lord of all problems that here I am now. Can you solve this for me? And so that is what I had to share in this morning. Calmness, it is something that um, we should be thinking about and practicing so that um, we may be able to pass to the children. You have something? Now, um, it's about, it's all about that's why I'm saying that the Christian educator should own the lesson. What, how do you own the lesson? You become a child, learn these things, and practice them. We are not talking about pretending so that you own the lesson to pretend that you are a child. No. You are a child of God. The child is your child, is it? But you remember, you also you are a child of someone. And so in the curriculum, the Christian educator is a child. And he remembers or she remembers that she is a child or he is a child of God. And so in the time of the storm, he also has to look at nature. He has also to look at, uh, at the different things that we are speaking about and learn of them so that him being a child of somebody and having these traits, now also he can have a child of his own and pass these things to this child. Like now, Jesus Christ is our father. Hebrew says, is it? I and the children my father has given unto me. And so, what did our father practice in the midst of the storm? He slept. Jesus Christ, our father, just slept in the midst of the storm. The Bible says very well that, uh, and he was in the hinder part of the ship asleep on a pillow. Imagine. And it was not a small storm. The Bible says that there was a great storm of wind and the waves bit the, into the ship and that it was now full. It was going to capsize. And yet our father was asleep on a pillow. And so if our father was asleep, that is a character. That is a trait of calmness and peacefulness. Yes? He is exercising what? Faith amidst the storm. That is what our father practiced, our father Jesus Christ. And now he passes on to us the same character. And so it's not a matter of the Christian educator pretending to be a child and then teaching the child. No. We have to practice what we saw our father doing and then pass it to the children. So our father Jesus Christ passed on to us the trait of being calm and having faith and praying and then you can talk to the storms. And so we also have to learn of these things. We have also to practice them. And then as Christian educators, now we can pass to our children. And so as you ask, what is the position of the, what is the part of the Christian educator? Are we not to learn from the nature? We have to learn from it. And if we don't learn from it, how we shall we teach the children? We cannot teach the children. We shouldn't be passing to the children theoretical knowledge. We should be passing to the children practical education. And so 
I think that is a, a, a short study on calmness, the Christian educator and calmness. Um, we can pray to end this unless <clears throat> you have anything. Should we have, yeah, we have said that uh, one, one of these days we will be doing nature walks as children eh? and learning. Uh, and uh, in closing, I, I just want to read again Mark chapter 4, and he arose and rebuked the wind and said unto the sea, Peace be still, and the wind ceased, and there was a great calm. The Lord will give us a great calm if we exercise faith and uh, if uh, we trust in him. Yeah, we, we will be we shouldn't be just sitting here and uh, talking about um, a Christian educator and the characters that he has to teach to the child. We should do them. We should go outside there in the nature. We should go in the garden and do these things practically, experience them practically, so that when we come back, actually the thing is embedded in our system so that even we can pass them to the children, they can form part of their DNA when there is a conception.